Hi friends, this video is a continuation of our previous video of linear expenditure system. In our previous video, uh, we have said that the linear expenditure system is trying to maximize a utility function subject to a constraint or the purpose is to maximize the utility of an individual by consuming different groups of commodities subject to a budget constraint that is income is the uh, limitation and income constraint is the budget constraint now we can have a look to the equations that we have explained in our previous video the linear expenditure model of richard stone is the maximization of this utility function subject to this is maximize this utility function subject to this constraint this is the constraint the purpose is to maximize this utility function subject to the constraint the constraint is that the total income is to be allotted for the extra quantities purchased from group 1 plus extra quantities purchased from group 2 plus extra quantities purchased from group 3. Therefore, the term P1 Q1 shows total expenditure for group 1. And similarly, this is the total expenditure for group 2. This is the total expenditure for group 3. And etc, etc, etc. This is the total expenditure for group N. This is equal to total income of the consumer. Now, we are going to derive the demand function from the linear expenditure system. From the income constraint uh, given here, we can say that total income is allotted entirely for consuming group 1, group 2, group 3, etc, etc up to group N. From this uh, income budget constraint, we have beta i is equal to lambda p i into q i minus q i dash, where i is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc, etc, etc up to n. And beta i is the marginal propensity to consume in case of group i commodities. It is the change in quantity consumed in group I due to change in income of the consumer. That is normally shown in this equation. That is equation number 1. Here this lambda denotes change. Pi denotes price of the commodity. Qi minus Qi dash means change in quantity of the uh, commodity consumed. Therefore, Qi minus Qi dash into Pi is the total income. Or change in consumption due to change in total income is represented as beta i. It can be beta 1. If it is beta 1, then lambda P1 into Q1 minus Q1 dash will be the equation. If it is beta 2, lambda P2 into Q2 minus Q2 dash will be the equation. And so on. Therefore, by normalizing beta, beta i, uh, we will get sigma beta i where i is equal to 1 to n is equal to lambda into sigma p i where i is equal to 1 to n into q i minus q i dash the sigma beta i this term shows the total propensity to consume of group I means group 1 to N. The entire uh, propensity to consume for entire commodities. Total propensity to consume for entire commodities. That is equal to the change in quantities consumed by each group. That is change in total consumption is the change in consumption of different groups is added together. It is assumed that uh, total income is fully spent on different groups of commodities. Then sigma bi that is i is equal to 1 to n will be equal to 1. 
where that is sigma beta i where i is equal to 1 to n will be equal to 1 or beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 plus etc 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 beta n is equal to 1. It shows that the entire change in income is uh, fully consumed or the total income of the consumer is fully spent on different groups of commodities. Therefore, we can rewrite the previous equation as that is therefore 1 is equal to uh, lambda sigma pi where i is equal to 1 to n into q i minus q i dash this we have derived from our previous equation and from this equation we will get this lambda is equal to 1 by sigma p i where i is equal to 1 to n into q i minus q i dash now we are going to break this bracket and we will get 1 by sigma p i q i where i is equal to 1 to n minus sigma p i q i dash that is this bracket has been opened here we have already said that sigma p i q i where i is equal to 1 to n is equal to y that is in our constraint we have already said that y is equal to p1 q1 plus p2 q2 plus etc 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 pn qn is the that is the entire income is spent on different commodities that we have already said and we have converted this into this form then we can rewrite the above equation as where lambda is equal to 1 by y minus sigma uh, p i q i where i is equal to 1 to n this y is simply this p i q i this term is substituted as y and this is equation number 2 this equation beta i is equal to lambda into q i minus q i dash this was the equation number 1 and we have equation number 2 here now we are going to substitute equation number 2 that is the above equation this equation in this equation number 1 we will get instead of this lambda we are going to substitute this equation then equation number 1 will be beta i is equal to instead of lambda we have substituted 1 by y minus sigma p i q i where i is equal to 1 to n into p i into q i minus q i dash that is this portion is in equation number 1 and this portion we have substituted from equation number 2 we can rewrite this equation as beta i is equal to p i into q i minus q i dash that is this term is into 1 is will be the uh, numerator and the denominator of the equation is remaining the same and the equation will be beta i is equal to pi into q i minus q i dash divided by y minus sigma pi q i dash where i is equal to 1 to n in the next step we are going to keep this portion as intact and moving this portion to the left side therefore this uh, here this denominator will be will become the numerator that is beta i into this term will be here that will be equal to p i into q i minus q i dash then the equation will be this beta 1 into y minus sigma p i q i where i is equal to 1 to n uh, will be on one side and pi pi into qi minus qi dash will be on the other side 
initially we will we will get this portion as the right side and this portion as the left side and we have rewrite it as like this now we are going to break this bracket again then we will get piqi minus piqi dash this pi is applicable to both the terms inside the bracket which is equal to this term beta i into y minus sigma piqi where i is equal to 1 to n now we are moving this portion minus piqi into the right side then it will become plus piqi then we can rewrite the equation as piqi is equal to y minus sigma piqi dash where i is equal to 1 to n plus piqi dash this piqi dash was minus piqi dash in our previous equation which was on the left side now we have shifted it into the right side automatically the sign of the piqi has been changed now we are going to keep this qi alone here automatically this pi will be shifted to this side where this will become beta i divided by pi and this pi qi also will be equal to qi alone because this pi will be uh, coming here as denominator and that will be that can be cancelled this can be cancelled and we will get the equation as qi is equal to beta i divided by pi into y minus sigma pi qi where i is equal to 1 to n plus this pi qi will become qi dash here qi is the quantity of commodity consumed from group i bi is the propensity to consume price is the uh, pi is the price of the group i propensity to consume is having positive relationship price of the group i is having negative relationship this term sigma pi qi where i is equal to 1 to n is the subsistence income which we have already explained in our previous video and this y minus sigma pi qi is the uh, super numerary income that is the income left after consuming the subsistence co quantities of commodities we can rewrite this equation as here this sigma pi qi can be termed as the subsistence income and the total y minus this amount sigma pi qi where i is equal to 1 to n is the uh, super numerary income that is the income left after consuming subsistence quantity and the basic demand function is qi where quantity of commodity consumed of group i is the minimum quantity consumed from group i plus the remaining quantities is influenced by propensity to consume and price of the commodity the minimum quantity is not at all influenced by a income or a price of the commodity or propensity to consume but the remaining quantity consumed that is supernumerary income depends upon or influences the quantity the total quantity of the commodity to be purchased therefore the total quantity qi is equal to the this is the minimum quantity and this is the commodity supernumerary quantity or additional this is the subsistence quantity and this is the additional quantity purchased Thus, according to linear expenditure system, the quantity of a commodity is consumed is influenced by the minimum quantity, subsistence quantity of the commodity, the propensity to consume, price of the group I, total income or sup income left after consuming the super uh, numerary income, that is y minus uh, sigma piqi where i is equal to 1 to n. This portion represent the subsistence income the amount of money required to purchase subsistence quantity therefore this quantity total quantity of commodity is influenced by all these variables besides it is also clear that quantity i or uh, group quantity of group i or 
quantity consumed of a particular group is influenced by the prices of all other commodities because this sigma pi qi is one of the determinant of this qi that means this qi suppose if you are representing group 1 group 1 this sigma pi qi is representing group 1 2 3 etc etc up to n therefore price of minimum allotted for subsistence quantities will influence the total quantity of any group of commodities that is the interrelationship between commodities and subsistence quantity uh, this is very helpful in demand forecasting because it analyzes the effect of change in price of one commodity on the uh, quantity demanded of all other commodities. All other commodities that is represented in even in different groups. Thus this is the final uh, demand function of linear expenditure system which influences the quantity of a commodity consumed is influenced by price the quantity consumed of other commodities and the price of all other commodities and subsistence income this is all about a linear expenditure system thank you